So patient-oriented research uh, is really the application of research findings, and it might be basic science research findings, it might be clinical research findings into actual practice. And I think a good example of this is with the Mother's Program or the Maternal Health Clinic that I run. Um, several years ago, I ran a clinical study out of multiple centers where we identified that what happens to you in pregnancy can sometimes identify complications from a future health point of view. Pregnancy is essentially a, a stress test. Uh, and if you fail the stress test because you develop high blood pressure in pregnancy or diabetes in pregnancy, it's basically unmasking a risk from a future health point of view. So we set this clinic up uh, in order to see these people back after pregnancy so we could screen them for cardiovascular risks, uh, really from a preventative health point of view. So as a general overview of the uh, research that we uh, do in our lab at KGH, uh, we work on the microbiome and human disease, sort of in broad strokes, that's what we do. More specifically, we're interested in uh, C. difficile infection, which is a continuing problem in hospitals uh, across the country, actually and we're trying to develop microbiome-based therapies to treat disease. So much of our healthcare system is what I would call reactive. You know, we wait till you have a problem, then we react to it. Very little is from a prevention point of view, and that's what the goal of this clinic is. So if we can identify problems, not only could we potentially improve outcome for mom's health from a cardiovascular point of view, but we might also improve outcome from a pregnancy point of view. So we've taken the research that we uh, have done both at a basic science level and a clinical level and a multi-site level uh, and translated into uh, better care. Our research will impact patients of the future by uh, developing new therapies that we can use to treat infections. So part of the problem that we have today is that the uh, antibiotics that we have currently uh, don't work as effectively as they used to with the development and emergence of all these superbugs. Um, this would be another strategy uh, to tackle those infections. KGH supported uh, the whole patient-oriented research for me by providing uh, research space. Uh, so I have, currently I have research space uh, in the new uh, Connell 4 uh, clinical research area. Um, we do have other clinical space where we see patients, uh, which is, you know, always at a premium anywhere. Uh, and certainly they provide the space where I do my clinics, where I see these women for longer term care. So KGH has enabled this research in a variety of ways, um, both through financial support, but also uh, probably most importantly through um, the uh, GIDRU, which is the Gastrointestinal Diseases Research Unit. This is an amazing um, area where multiple uh, physicians and basic scientists all work together from different disciplines on gastrointestinal diseases and this uh, leads to a very fertile and rich environment for uh, developing uh, groundbreaking areas of research. So that's probably been one of the biggest um, uh, factors in allowing us to come through with these breakthroughs. Uh, I always tell people that as a clinician I make a difference for my patients, as a researcher uh, I can make a difference for everybody's patients.